Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. It is quite clear that the next frontier is text to video models. In this video, I am going to present you Moshi 1 which is still in the preview and we are going to play around with this model to see how it generates video from text. Before we do that, let's have a quick look at what exactly this model is. So it's an open state of the art video generation model with high fidelity motion and strong prompt adherence in preliminary evaluation. This model dramatically closes the gap between closed and open video generation systems. This model has been released under Apache 2 license. We will also play around with it in the playground. We won't be able to install it locally unfortunately because this requires four H100 GPUs together with each one of them having 80 GB of VRAM. So it is quite a heavy model but if you look at the quality of videos it is generating I think we can tell why. And that is why I am saying that this is a new frontier because if you remember when all of these large language models were coming we were, we were requiring a lot of VRAM for it. We still do but that is that is decreasing quite rapidly so hopefully this is going to improve in the future but for now if you want to run it locally you need 4 h 100 card but i will but if you have them uh, i will show you how you can get it installed and running the installation is very simple thankfully the only constraint is a resource which i don't have if you want to sponsor me to have 4 h 100 cards be my guest i will be very grateful and i will redo this video so before we go forward Let's have a quick look at the architecture of this model. So this Moshi one represents quite a significant advancement in open source video generation. It features 10 billion parameter diffusion model built on their novel asymmetric diffusion transformer, which I already have discussed in my other videos, what diffusion transformer is. It is a cross between the transformer architecture and diffusion models this model has been trained entirely from scratch so it's not a fine-tuned version it is the largest video model ever openly released by the way and it is quite simple in terms of architecture so you can hack it quite easily and create your own another cool thing about this moshi project is that they are open sourcing their video v or variational autoencoder which converts the images from latent space to pixel space and this V causally compresses videos to 128 times smaller size with an 8 by 8 spatial and 6 times temporal compression to a 12 channel latent space. As I said, if you want to know more about this latent space, please search my channel. I have done separate complete video on it in very simple language. So before I tell you more about this ASIM date process because that is a bit thick and full of machine language lingo. I'm not going to keep you waiting. I'm going to take you to Genmo's playground and then you can play around there after signing up with your Gmail free account for free. So here, and I will drop the link to it in video's description. So let me paste a prompt here where I'm saying a hand with delicate fingers picks up a bright yellow lemon from a wooden bowl filled with lemons and a spring of mint. Where is that? Sorry. Okay, so I thought maybe I will just... Uh, generate the video anyway so let's wait for it to generate now so primarily this is the one which i was showing you let's try it out so the hand gently tosses the lemon up and catches it showcasing its smooth texture a beach string bag sits beside the bowl adding a rustic touch to the scene additional lemons and then one half are scattered around the base of the bowl the even lighting enhances the vibrant colors and creates a fresh inviting atmosphere. So let's see how long does it take. It is rendering at the moment. And I think you can uh, create, there is a limit on video creation for free. Once it is rendered, you can share it or download it as you can see here. So let it generate. Meanwhile, I will also introduce you to the sponsors of a video who are Agent QL. So Agent QL is a query language for extracting data from web pages quickly, easily and at scale. You can use the Python SDK to run your queries in production using Playwright and use the browser based debugger for optimizing queries in real time on any web page. Agent QL is a robust alternative to Fragile XPath and DOM CSS selectors 
as it uses the power of AI to analyze the page structure to find the data you are looking for and I will also drop the link to their website in video's description. Let's go back to the playground. It is 9% done. So let's wait for it to finish while it generates as it was okay it almost there. So it is doing the diffusion process. So while that happens, let's have a few words on this uh, structure. So this asymmetric diffusion transformer or ASMDIT efficiently processes user prompts alongside compressed video tokens by streamlining text processing and focusing neural network capacity on visual reasoning. So this ASMDIT jointly attends to text and visual tokens with multimodal self-attention and learn separate MLP layers for each modality, similar to Stable Diffusion 3, by the way. And I just have covered it on my channel, the latest version of Stable Diffusion 3.5. Do check it out. But the visual stream has nearly four times as many parameters as a text stream via a larger hidden dimension in this one. And to unify the modalities in self-attention, they have used non scare QKV and output projection layers. This asymmetric design reduces inference memory requirements and many modern diffusion models use multiple pre-trained models to represent user prompts. But this Moshi one simply encodes prompts with a single T5 XSL language model or the clip model. And that is one of the clip models in we have used in ST3.5 and also in the Flux. As I said, if you want to run it locally, you would need four H100 GPUs. And you see that as we were talking, um, it is making the video. It is almost there. There's a cut lemon and all that stuff. Now, while that happens, let me quickly take you to my VS Code window and I will show you how you can install it locally if you have 4H100. So this is all you need to do. You need to get clone the repo, go to that repo, install UV and then create a virtual environment with it and then use UV to install it in the editable format after activating that environment. Then because it's a gated model, you would need to, uh, I'm not sure if, if it is a gated model, I don't think so. It's Apache 2, so I think you can download it. But in order to download this, make sure to log into Hugging Face and then just give the name of the repo here and use it in this local my model directory. And then you can either run it in the Gradio demo, something like this, or you could just run it from CLI. That's it. And you can specify some of the parameters on CLI, like uh, the C to generate random noise for diffusion process. And then this guidance scale, which is which specifies the prompt adherence. The higher the value, the model is going to follow prompt more rigidly. Otherwise, it will be more creative. And this is the model directory we are specifying. So this is how easy it is to run it locally. OK, so let's go back to our video to see what is happening there. Let me go to my browser. So it is still processing. I think generation is complete. There you go. How good is that? Around four minutes. It took four minutes to generate it. I'm not sure how much. Uh, VRAM it is using but I think quite a lot nice no, not bad at all the hands are also okay you see okay so good stuff as I said I will drop the link to it in video description play around with it let me know what you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching and thanks for all the support